Good morning, folks. I'm scrolling on HelioViewer looking at massive plasma filaments coming over the northeastern limb. It appears the equatorial rope is destabilizing this morning. No big Earth-side eruptions the last day, just another small filament snap north of the coronal hole. No ejecta or concern whatsoever. In the gamma spectrum, we saw a burst last night out of the Sagittarius constellation. In X-ray, we've seen a marked decline in solar flare activity at the Sun. The M-flare maker of the past few days is weak and departing, while to the left we obviously have a tremendous size to this active region, and even some magnetic mixing potential at the lead mass there, but in general, it's just too spread for major flare activity now. 24 hours of solar wind telemetry show dense pockets in the stream beginning right before the particle speed jumps above 500 kilometers per second. Could be a coronal hole impact. Only minor instability thus far, but we may be seeing early plasma penetration into Earth's atmosphere. Speaking of coronal holes, that's a southern negative opening. Gong has this visualized in red where the blue coronal fields open up. But to the left you see the next one coming in, green for positive, in the north. This one is much harder to see on SDO. There is a dark patch you might be able to notice coming in on the left. It's not as dark as the southern hole appears because we have lots of bright magnetic fields and coronal particles in the area just ahead of it in the sun's rotation, and they're currently occluding just how dark that patch should look in terms of force. The southern opening has been powerful, and it appears that's true of this next one as well, cut off by the chart with the other half over on the right side, strong but smaller. Largest quake of the day after the Vanuatu six-pointer was this one in the northern Mariana Islands. It too actually rang into six range on multiple meters. There was also an above average tremor in Panama. But most interestingly, we saw a swarm in Alaska, enough that we called a minor location watch up there yesterday afternoon. Activity is subsiding there now, but let's see if there might be an earth spot connection. That low to the south is further away than we normally like to see when correlating these things, but the system wind drive holds in the oceans as well. It's not often you see the waves and wave heights actually match the motion of the wind with their edge right on top of our swarm zone. Hopefully we won't see more today. Top article was discussed yesterday on Fly on the Wall. Ever since Bicep 2 scientists claimed to find evidence of the Big Bang, they've been called into question. Point after point has been failed. This is an important topic for electric theories of the universe, and I've linked for you below both this article and a terrific presentation on the topic in general from Dr. Robitaille at the EU 2014 conference in New Mexico. Tropical Storms Cyclone still churning into nowhere here, while over in Australia, one hopes that the coastline's getting ready for this one. She'll creep in slowly and weaken, but should still be very much noticed. And while we're here, the thunderstorm warnings appear less intense tonight around the region. Across the Pacific, we see a moisture flow to the U.S.-Canada border. This is driven by a reinforced wind flow funneled between the low we saw earlier and a high-pressure cell to the south of it. That moisture also shifts over to take part in the double storm events going on in the east, New England still taking it, and the central storm pulling heat and moisture up from the Gulf with major snowfall potential where the Arctic air comes down to meet that moisture. In Europe, that low has moved east. The convergence is still very wide, arching over much of the continent. The strongest flow comes up through Sweden, wraps around, becoming less organized as we get to France and Germany. That's precisely what we'll look at on tonight's precipitation zones for the area. Got the current conditions, followed by shots of our star to close. at 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time, 3.05 in California. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.